Also, if I can take a few moments and just uh, um, uh, make some comments about another great guy and another good friend of mine, um, Senator Jay Rockefeller. I have only known Jay for a couple years. And when I first started, um, uh, people would, I would go home to North Dakota and people would ask me kind of consistently, so, so who, who do you meet? I mean, who do you, who do you listen to? And you know, what's been a big surprise? And, and when they said, who are your favorite people? I said, this may come as a surprise because I didn't go with the idea that I would have an opportunity to work with or, or spend time with Senator Rockefeller. But I said, the one person who impressed me the most when I first got here was Senator Jay Rockefeller. And he, for so many of us, is a giant. Not only physically. People say, what about him? I say, my, one of my funnest moments was watching Senator Rockefeller stand and visit with Barbara Mikulski. Um, I'm pretty sure she might be uh, the, the shortest person in the United States Senate, and I'm pretty sure Jay might be the tallest. And I said, what you don't know about Senator Rockefeller, not only in intellectual stature, but physical stature, he's a giant of a man. And, um, but it's, it's not that, that intellectual stature of Senator Rockefeller that impressed me, and it certainly wasn't his size that impressed me. It was the size of his heart and how much he cared for the people that he served in West Virginia. I had a chance um, last year um, or this year to travel to West Virginia and spend time with uh, the folks of, of his great state. And um, as they were looking at this transition, they would tell me stories about Senator Rockefeller. And they would tell me stories about what he meant to them and, and what, what, the things that he had gone out of his way to do. Um, things that were beyond maybe what even expectations of a, of a, um, of a populace would ever be, that Jay was there for them, and they knew that every day he woke up and in his heart were the people of West Virginia. And I think you heard that today with his floor speech as he talked about the impact of coming to West Virginia as a young VISTA worker, that impact that had, it had on him that changed his life and created the man that you see today. And so I celebrate a senator with an enormous intellect and an enormous capacity for facts and data and public policy. But that wasn't what made him a great senator. What made Jay Rockefeller a great senator was his enormous heart for the people he served. Thank you, Mr. Ch uh, Mr. President. I yield the floor.